Hey game designers, uh, this is tutorial 12 where I'm going to teach you how to import the my endpoint script and properties. So um, in the previous video, we were talking about how we wanted to give you guys the ability to make a open world. So let's say I click on, I get on, I, I was able to touch this uh, victory point and the victory point is supposed to allow to take me to a different level. So let's say if I grab this secret layer one, I can go to the next level and let's say that the other victory point on the map, which is over here, um, it might not look like this, uh, depending on the uh, sprite bug here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and move it over here. So let's go ahead and think that this victory point, instead of bringing us to the game over screen, or instead of the next level, which is the parallax background screen, it will go all the way to the end of the map. So let's go ahead and teach you how to do that. So um, let's go ahead and just remove the script right now. I'm going to go here and remove the default endpoint script here. So that's gone now. I'm going to go ahead and pan back over here, click on this trophy, and remove the script. Right? And now I'm going to go and import a new script. So I'm going to go to code, add a new script. This is again the fourth or fifth time that we have done this. So you guys should get used to it by now. I'm going to go ahead and click on import script. And we're going to go look for our Google Classroom. So I'm going to go look into our Google Classroom here. And again, depending on which day you see the video, um, it will change its location. But you can look for it. It's called My Point Script and Properties. It has two files, one for the script, one for the properties. We're going to click on the script one right now. We're going to triple click the entire script here. We're going to copy it or right click and copy it or Control C. We're going to go ahead and minimize, go back to over here. We're going to right click and paste it. We're going to import the script. It will look something like this. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and rename it. So I'm going to go ahead and click it right here. I'm going to call it my endpoint. Okay. So we don't like the endpoint that was given. We're going to create our own. We're going to go ahead and click the X to save it. Let's go ahead and check that it is there. So under the code tab, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you will see my endpoint script here. I'm going to click on edit code now and go ahead and change the properties. I believe you have to do it on two separate save instances. You can't import the script and change the property in the same uh, menu for whatever reason. So we're going to click on script properties here and we have all these to change, but we only want to change the ones that, um, that I instruct you to do so because that could screw it up. So let's go ahead and close our script page here. Click on the second Google Doc. It will tell you what properties to change. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little split screen here. I'm going to kind of move this over here so that the properties is up. Uh, maybe even change down the property here to make it fit. I'm going to grab this one and go ahead and drag it to the right. So um, I'm going to make a public the active variable. I'm going to change the default to checked. We're going to click on the player tag right here, and we're going to put in the word player. So the player is the one that can interact with the uh, the endpoint object. And then the level number, which is right here, we can change it to whatever number we want, but we're going to leave it at zero default. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to close this now. And now I'm going to go ahead and click the X. And it's going to save our workspace here. I'm going to click yes. Um, before we apply it, let's go ahead and check real quick that our sometimes Game Fruit doesn't save your script properties. It looks like they're saved. I'm going to go now and apply the script. I'm going to click on the script and I'm going to uh, go ahead and click on the object to apply it. It should change the color. I'm going to use the pan tool over here and apply it to this object as well. I'm going to use the select tool and just select something else real quick and then select back. And you can see now that the properties show up active player and level number. Again, uh, a, a variable that has no value means there's an imaginary zero here. So I'm going to change this. So um, if I want to go to, let's say the next, uh, the end of the game, it's going to be scene number four. But if I type in number four, you will see that we have a bug. So let's go ahead and try to touch this victory point and see if uh, what happens. So I'm just going to grab my weapons real quick so I can kill the NPC. 
I'm going to go ahead and grab the key because I can't get to the end of the map without a key. Uh, I missed it. Let's go ahead and click on, jump onto here. I'm going to go ahead and activate this switch. Okay. So I'm going to go here and touch this, open the door. And now you see if I touch the flag, um, it will supposedly teleport me to scene number four. And this is not the YouTube video um, bugging out. This is actually the game crashing. So let me explain real quickly. So even though I have the uh, scene or level number four, that's not actually the level number. This is actually the scene number. Um, you'll learn something in computer science is that um, computers use what we call zero-based list or zero-based arrays. So scene number one is not actually number one. It is number zero. And scene number two is not actually level number two, but level number one. And scene number three is level number two. And scene number four is actually level number three. So if I want to go to the end scene that says congratulations, game over, I need to click on this and change the number to number three. Okay. And let's go ahead and change the other one while we're at it before we play test again. I'm going to click on this trophy here. And I'm going to change this one. So that one goes to the end scene. Let's go this one to go into the parallax background scene. So I'm going to change this number to scene number three. But remember, scene number three is actually level number two. Okay. And it's actually, we can even change it. Let's go back to level zero. So let's see what level zero really means. So I'm going to change it back to zero. So if I hit play, I should go back to the very beginning of the game, this particular menu right here. So let's go ahead and grab myself some extra lives. Go grab this. Go grab the key. I'm going to go ahead and go into the secret layer. Now, if I touch this trophy, I should go to level number zero, which is scene number one. And you see that I went back to scene number one, right? Because this is scene number, I'm sorry, scene number one, but level number zero. So this actually works, okay? And now you can have another victory point, which is over here, bring you to somewhere else. So the idea, again, is to give you guys the ability to create an open world. So this object will bring me to the level number three or what we call scene number four. Just to give you the idea that this is possible for you guys to create kind of an open world in a 2D game. Let's go ahead and get the checkpoint. Hopefully I don't fall to my death here. Okay, grab the HP, grab this. Let's go ahead and turn on the, that one there. Jump over here, jump over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and touch this right here. And now you will see that if I touch this, I should go to the congratulations scene, okay? So again, you can create an open world where you can go between levels of your choosing by just simply changing the level number that you go to, okay? So let's say I want to go on this trophy now, and I want to change it to go to the next level, which is scene number three. Well, scene number three is level number two. And now I'm going to do one more play test to show you guys that you're able to kind of control where the player goes from scene to scene. And that you're not stuck with just making uh, level one go to level two, and level two go to level three. Oh, great. Now i got to kill this guy. Um, Let's go ahead and get into this. And if I touch this trophy, I should be able to go to the next level, which there is. And there's nothing to stop me from making victory points that go back to level or scene number two. So again, this is what I mean by an open world. I can add something inside level or scene number three that makes me go back to scene number two. So there's much more open ability in this game so that you can always go back and reuse levels and whatnot, right? 
So that ends it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys next video.